Hello, I am Muhammad Masoudian Khuzani, and I'm a resident at Orofacial Pain and Oral Medicine Department at University of Southern California. My presentation today is about profile of obstructive sleep apnea patients coming in the Orofacial Pain and Oral Medicine Center at USC. It's a retrospective study. So first I want to talk about what is obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea is a condition where the upper airway collapses during a sleep, resulting in oxygen desaturation. Studies have shown that this condition increases with age and is associated with adverse health outcomes such as weight gain, hypertension, coronary heart disease, stroke, anxiety, depression, and in fact it will decrease the quality of life. So to further investigate and understand the demographic profile of patients coming to the orofacial pain clinic at USC with a diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea, a preliminary retrospective study was conducted. This study collected clinical data from September 2015 to July 2021 with a total of about 118 records reviewed. And the first 49 consecutive patients that met the inclusion criteria were selected to further investigation. The data extracted from the polysomnography study included the AHI apnea hypopnea index and the oxygen saturation, SpO2, both nadir, the lowest one, and the average. The study found that being male, having higher BMI and older age are often mentioned in prevalence studies of OSA, obstructive sleep apnea, in the general population. And the findings agreed with those studies. The most common individuals diagnosed with OSA were males, 65.3%. Older than 50 years old, 67.3%, and 36.7% were in the CDC obesity category of BMI of more than 30. AHI increased with increasing age, though this result was not significantly, aesthetically significant. More importantly, as age increased, uh, the average oxygen levels and the lowest oxygen levels decreased significantly. Correlations between BMI and AHI and between AHI and oxygen saturations average level were not significantly, were not statically significant. Uh, in conclusion, uh, understanding the characteristics of OSA patients allows the clinician to identify uh, risk factors for OSA and address possible consequences of their condition. Uh, the findings of this study uh, suggest that older adults should be assessed for potential sleep uh, disorder breathing. However, further studies and a larger population sample are necessary to confirm these findings and to explore other foot potential factors associated with it also. Additionally, it is necessary to compare the initial findings with a follow-up sleep study to monitor patients' response to treatment and for future research. Thank you for your time.